<laughs> the late adopter. Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel and a new Bitcoin video and today we're gonna talk about some kind of small time frames up here so we're not gonna you know zoom out look what's happening on the weekly time frame trying to figure out what's gonna happen next year you know uh, no no we're gonna you know zoom in nicely here on the one hourly time frame we're gonna see what's happening up here which kind of levels we can hit can we get to the 45 today and I'm gonna tell you that there is definitely a very nice probability to hit 45 today i'm gonna show you why i think that so without further ado let's start and looking at small time frames now before we do that let's go back to daily time frames and draw some nice trend lines so you can see what had happened here yesterday so yesterday we managed to break an important trend line down here so you can see this small uh, uh partially uh some kind of uh, downtrend uh on this uh this uh, this candle yesterday we broke that so right now we broke this at least this part over here this downtrend we broke the uh, upside so it, it's a small bullish confirmation that we are going towards the upside so it is very nice now uh, we definitely got some other lines that are not still not broken or something like this up here right uh, this is definitely still not broken and so forth so forth but you know we are slowly climbing towards those levels up uh, up there uh it, the important thing is that you know on the small uh, down here we did uh, break uh towards the upside and also we are above the 10 moving average 10 moving average on even on the daily time frame is important so you know the fact that we are above the 10 moving average up here it's nice so that might mean that we might just you know try this uh, uh try to go for this uh 20 moving uh, moving average up here at uh th this is at 45 5 actually uh so you know we might go all the way up there maybe and if you break you know we might even go higher than that you know but right now we're gonna zoom in really nicely to the one hourly time frame and see what's happening up here and you can see that uh, the trend is uh getting broken up here just, let me just remove the moving averages up here so there is there are several ways to uh, draw this trend of course but uh, you know just one of the uh, ways to draw the trend up here all the way up here something like this up here so we broke it up here so we, we kind of looking like we are zigzagging up here and we want to break towards the upside now the most interesting move that's happening right now over here on the small time frames is this one up here ever since the bottom up now we, we have been climbing towards the upside the question is will this continue towards the upside and i think it just can so there is definitely some nice trend line down here i'm going to show you the trend line it goes something like this give or take uh something like this and you can see here that we are keeping this trend line really really nicely uh you know on, on the way towards the upside and we don't want to break this uh, on a downside definitely we don't want to break this on, on the downside but but when you look at it like this over here this is some kind of channel towards the upside let me draw the channel for you up here so it goes uh, the same up here something like this give or take so this looks like a channel towards the upside you can see right now that we are on a bottom of the channel so we definitely do not, do not want to lose the trend line up here because that means kind of sideways move stuff like that you know uh, but the reason I say that we can hit 45 today is if this start going towards the upside right now it can hit some kind of 45 5k levels up here this 45 1 something like that so the, 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 we can definitely hit these levels at 45k and if you remember the video from yesterday You've been talking that the first resistance is gonna be around 45k between 45 and 46 but around 45k let me show you that this is the chart from yesterday the 45 160 that's uh, the bottom line down here that's gonna be the first res resistance line decent resistance lines and i think that uh, you know this channel up here just shows us right now that if we start moving towards the upside you know we just might hit this 45 still be inside the channel and everything's gonna be nice and dandy and no problem whatsoever right so i think this this uh, 45 hit on the on the small time frames is definitely a possibility right now uh, now that we are moving towards the upside we can pop some moving averages up here you'll see here that uh, we are just slow we are above all the moving averages on one hourly time frame is slowly climbing towards the upside and i think this move towards the upside is going to come once we break not all time high but you know local high local high of uh, this pattern that's being created up here right now so you can see here we are be, uh, being squeezed uh squeezed down at the support line and also we got this very nice resistance line uh that we hit two times right now we're testing it for the third time and i think if we can manage to break this line up here i think this is going to go all the way up to some kind of 45 levels towards the upside so i think that's going to happen to that i mean it, it is probability for today at least the way i see it that we might break uh, towards the upside and uh, how it's gonna play out after that i'm not quite sure i definitely do not want to break this on the downside because that means uh you, you know you have to go down revisit some lines and then maybe go go up again right but right now i think um, i think the probability is towards the upside up here if we can manage to break this 
uh, 44, uh, 44 line up here. Where is it? Somewhere like this. Let me pull just a little bit. Yeah. Okay, let's, okay, it's 43.9 or something like that, give or take, right? But I think if we can manage to break uh, the line up here, uh, it's still be inside this channel up here. I think the probability to 45 is ki kind of decent. Now, as always, that move will only be towards the line up here. That's the first resistance lines. And like we said yesterday, we want to break everything. We, you know, for be, to become bullish, we want to break everything up here. We don't want to break these trend lines. We don't want to break the resistances. You know, we want to try going towards the upside. But this is the area between 45 and uh, uh, up here at uh, 46, 46, uh, 6, right? Uh, this is the area that we want to break, you know, to become super bullish, right? But right now, the, the first move, I think even today, it might be just 45k. So that's why I'm looking at today right now. I'm looking for this 45 move. Uh, and basically, it, it is a little bo a little bit boring chart. And I see also a lot of altcoins are a little bit boring. Something, something is good, something is bad, but not much is happening. I think everything is waiting for the big moves up here above 46,000 but right now uh we're gonna see we're gonna see i think the probability is pretty decent you know to jump up to 45 at least for today and if we for any reason start uh, you know dropping below what's that right now 43.4 or something like that no sorry 43.7 something like that you know uh, i would be a little bit worried short term because it's one hourly chart but you know overall uh, i'm still looking at some kind of 45 46k at least before something big happens after that anyways guys some kind of short update you know what's happening right now if you like that hit the like button on the way out subscribe to the channel if you want to do that see you tomorrow same time same place bye bye that was genius Thank you. Thank Great you. Great job. You guys did it. No, it's you.